And now we have another 2020 Champion in Life Grant Award recipient, Ann Fallon Arnold from Brown Memorial Tutoring Program. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to have you here. Congratulations. Thank you. First of all, I want you to tell us what Brown Memorial Tutoring Program does and who you impact. Sure. So the tutoring program was established in 1964 as a part of the mission of the Brown Memorial Park Avenue Presbyterian Church in Bolton Hill. Um, it's a literacy program that works to advance educational equity in Baltimore by awakening a real love of reading in elementary school students from some of the city's most under-resourced neighborhoods. Um, and it's been uh, over 50 years of this now. So yeah. We're thrilled to be here. I can see the passion that you have for it right on your face there. Clearly, you do great things in the community, or improvise, or improving rather the lives of students who are below grade level in literacy. I know that that is the main focus. Yeah. What is your greatest wish for the future of your organization? Well, our wish, as always, really is to remain fully committed to supporting and empowering the students um, that we're able to, to work with. Mm -hmm. um, to build their reading skills and grow confidence and succeed in school. It's been proven that, um, you know, children who are not reading at grade level can be four to six times more likely to not finish high school. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to maintain that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction with our students throughout the years and see them flourish and chart a new course. So that's the, that's the wish now and always. And having the backup to fulfill that wish, being in partnership with the Building for God Community Foundation, what are some, one of the top one or two benefits that your tutoring program has gained from the connection with this foundation? Well, the foundation and um, the tutoring program really do share a mission, which is to enact change in Baltimore by supporting the youngest citizens of our city. Um, and the opportunity that we have in partnership with the foundation is really to seek guidance and help where we need it. I mean, this year in particular has been yeah. tremendously challenging for us certainly, but for our students most of all and their families. Um, and we are so grateful to have been able to have the resources and the support of the foundation, especially in those first few very difficult months where we weren't sure how we were going to be able to soldier on and, and right. um, and continue on supporting our students as best we can. So they really were um, invaluable in that aspect. And so now that we are in the thick of it right now with this quarantine and pandemic and what have you, as we move forward through it and out of it, um, how do you expect to use the grant money that you're getting from the Building for God Community Foundation? The foundation really had, the support of the foundation has allowed us to remain so nimble and so able to reconfigure the way that we deliver our services to our students. Um, and moving forward, that, that support is going to go to the same thing. We really don't know what's coming down the pike, as you say, as we come kind of through it and hopefully out of it. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a lot of learning kind of yeah. gaps that we're going to need to address. Um, and all of that funding goes straight to our program support, which will allow us to continue tutoring however and wherever and over whatever. Yeah. You're able to meet people. Do. Yeah, you're able to meet people exactly where they're at in whatever right. way you can do. And I know that that grant money probably provides a little bit of peace of mind that you can continue to do the work that 100%. you have committed to do. And the funds, of course, are the, are tremendously important, but it's also that that backup and that um, yeah. kind of shared mission that we know that we're on the same path together. All right, so right, you lead me to my last question. If you had to describe your relationship with the Building for God Community Foundation in one word, or I will give you one phrase if you need it all. Thank you. <laughs> what would you What would you say? I um I canvassed some of our um our leadership and some of the members of our commission. And we came up together with two words. So I'm not sure what exactly that counts as, but it is true partnership. And I think in this time that is more than we could have hoped for. Um, 
and we're so, so grateful for it. So thank you. All right. And Fallon Arnold, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Congratulations again. Thank you.